Like everything is new, the sun bursts flowers, calling on warm days overdue. But I call, call like everything is new, the sun bursts flowers, calling on warm days overdue. Hey there potato heads, my name is Kuda, but you'll call me potato mommy and welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. I make all sorts of YouTube content, so please, please, please subscribe, okay? I'm trying to get to 600 subscribers, so do be sure to subscribe. If you guys hear noise during this video, it's because Jesse is here and he refused to leave the room whilst I was filming, so we're just gonna have to make it work, okay? Anyway, let's get into today's video. Okay, so today's video I'm trying to keep very short and precise, just straight to the point, because I think it's something really important and I don't like to drag these sort of videos because no one wants to listen to you trying to be motivational for 10 minutes. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about being yourself. Jesse? Shush. So today I am going to be talking to you guys about being yourself because in 2020 with how social media... Jesse, do you want a cookie? Come get a cookie. Come. Come get a cookie. These things, by the way, are terrible, but I mean, okay. Here you go. What do you say? Go sit down quietly. Okay, guys, so Jesse is asleep, as you can see. And if you're an OG, you know that I film quite a few of my videos like this because I'm a mom and if I have to film a video with a baby on my back, I will film a video with a baby on my back because, you know, having a YouTube channel is not a bigger commitment than having my baby. I'm not going to sideline my baby for some content. So anyway, um, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about something that I personally like dealt with. I personally had a slight problem with and I think maybe you know it could help someone out there if it helps one person out there then i think i would have done something so yeah so uh i want to talk about being yourself now where this is stemming from is when i started my youtube channel i think i what happened was a couple days ago i decided to just rewatch some of my old youtube videos for like from like three months ago so basically my first three to five videos right and when I was watching them, I honestly couldn't help but cringe. <laughs> like, it just felt like, who am I watching? Like, who is this girl? Like, I don't know you. And and it's not to say that anything I was saying was fake or like a lie, because I've always been very open about my journey as a young mother. I've always been very open about how all the problems I faced, like, and everything I've gone through and how i overcame it and how i'm still overcoming so much of it but i just think it was the way i delivered things or the way i spoke i guess that to me was just like who is this person because i think um i really wanted to fit into i don't know how to put it i wanted to seem mainstream i wanted to fit into what i thought was the most like idealistic version of a youtuber out there i wanted to fit like a mainstream image of a youtuber i wanted to to be able to sell myself to an international market or whatever that was that i thought those days and i wanted to to, to be you know someone who people could relate to i was so embarrassed i remember like in my first videos i was so embarrassed even trying to speak shauna because i was like hey you know like what are people going to think or whatever because i had this image in my head of what like a good youtuber was and i tried so much to be that so even though everything i was saying was true to me and true to everything that's happened in my life and is happening in my life the way i spoke or the way i delivered it or whatever wasn't it wasn't really who I am and I think it made it so hard for me to even like connect with people because I was trying so hard it's like you're actively thinking I want to be like this at the same time you're trying to be raw and you're trying to connect with an audience you're trying to reach out to someone but how do you do that when you're not even being true to yourself right 
and then i think it only clicked once i filmed like my birthday video and the video about how i told my parents i was pregnant is when i was like why haven't i been like this all along and i know it was also because i was just nervous those days and i was just starting so i had to shift to filming in my room because i want to put jesse down to sleep but um anyway the thing is just that i wanted to say it's very easy in 2020 because of how like social media is so readily available to us we see like all these people we see all these people on instagram all these people on twitter tiktok whatever and because like we see them and they're doing well or whatever we kind of start to like idealize that version or that image of what it means to be a good i don't know student youtuber um it's not even just about social media but just life in general like we see on social media so many people who are doing these things that we would like to become or we aspire to become and because we've seen them do it and do it successfully it's very easy for you to then try and assume that personality or a completely different persona just in an attempt to fit into like a box or to fit into what you think is an idealistic version of whether it be beauty or intelligence or success or faith and whatever it's very easy to then assume that person's personality but the thing is they're who they are and they got where they are because they are true to themselves if you try and become that all you could ever really become is a copy and a copy will never equate to the original ever you could do well you could do enough but as yourself you could do so much better and you could reach so many more people and you could even besides reaching people you do so much better for yourself and you do yourself so much good it's very easy to lose yourself in in what you see and who you see doing this and that when in actuality you as yourself and the way you are made is enough for you to do everything and more but we lose sight of that because we see all these other success stories and they're spoken about and whatever and the ones that aren't we don't even know of so we then just think that that's the only way to get wherever if i follow Ningi, that's the only way i'll become a successful doctor if i become like Ningi, that's the only way i'll become a successful pastor so you know um i think i just wanted this video to film this video to say to someone you know um there might be someone who might be feeling like what they're like isn't enough or isn't good enough or won't get them far enough but the truth is as you are you can do so much and don't underestimate the power of you being you you can do so much more as yourself than you can as trying to be someone else because every move you make is dependent on what they've done before and where will that get you in life you know be true to you be who you are and love who you are no matter what and trust in yourself believe you me you are amazing you are worth everything this life has to offer and you can get it but only if you come to accept who you are in the situation you are in and you love yourself through you know we see so many people talking about they suffer from identity crisis and x y and z and we don't take it seriously but it's really like a lot of us out there have suffered or do suffer from a very minor case of identity crisis it might be in the smallest things like because the thing is there's a difference between flattery and imitation and like admiring what someone does and you know you know trying to be a bit more like them is different to completely forgetting who you are and then assuming this person's personality just because you saw that it works for them why not make you work for you and be individual and rock who you are no matter what you're like like for me like I'm just one of those people where you're either going to love me completely or you're going to hate me totally. I'm loud. I'm in your face. I talk a lot. I'm funny. I have no filter. I say whatever comes to mind. And that's just who I am. And I can't hide that. And I can't fake that anymore because it's like, it's who I am. Imagine 
trying every day literally every day putting effort into trying to be someone you're not just imagine that like how much work and stress that is how much it will drain you literally assuming a completely different persona every single day of your life just to try and keep up appearances because the day that you forget the day the day you slip up and you forget who denies I'm supposed to be potato mommy. I'm not supposed to be Jira. My friend, we will catch you. And you will never live it down. So why not just be who you are? And whatever happens, happens. If you see that you lose people in the process of being true to yourself, then guess what? Those were not your people to begin with. Be grateful you lost them because that's just dead weight you were lugging around for nothing when you see you're losing people that you are being who you are and you're being true to yourself but you're losing people in the process thank god because you finally realized and saw who's you there for you and who was just there for whatever like i would rather have one friend in my life who i know genuinely loves kuda for kuda than have 10 friends who love me only when I act like this, only when I act like that, only when I'm like this, only when I'm like that. Those aren't your people. They are not. And they're not meant to be a part of your life. You don't need Harare Yese to be chilling around you. You don't need Harare Yese to be your friends. You don't need Harare Yese to validate you for you, for you to know what you're worth something. My friend, you're enough as you are in whatever state you are with whatever you have. You can achieve so much. But the one thing you have to do first is be yourself. Be true to you. Because everyone else under the sun is taken. You will never be Oprah Winfrey. You will never be Bill Gates. You will never be Miss Red. You will never be Japresa. But you will be and you are you. So why not then make that name for yourself? I don't want to be told, Woody kuda could become the next i don't know kuda could become the next miss red no miss red made her name for herself she's successful as she is and she made that name i want to be the question i want to hear the people being told yo you could be the next potato mommy not me be told you could be the next nigga no 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 sis i'm making my name for me make that name for yourself Anyway, guys, that is all I have to say today. Thank you guys so much for watching. From me, Potato Mom, I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Bye.